So you want to save money, but you is a broka. Don't worry though, because I am too, and so is probably the majority of the whole entire population of the world. But we all need to save. We all want to go on holiday. We all want to buy that nice car. We all want to buy some awesome stuff. Why am I crouching over like this? <laughs> so I'm going to give you real advice to how you can save your... Eddie, I'm recording a video. <sighs> But don't worry guys, I am going to tell you how to save your money when you are broke. So, let's jump right into it. I'm a sing songwriter, play the guitar and piano. Play some drums and rap, but it's my YouTube channel. I'm a video, I wanna be, get the best on me a video. Okay, so step one to saving is literally just to get a job. Get a job that has a relatively decent income. It doesn't have to pay amazingly, but you wanna be able to have a job that will pay your bills and your debts but will also give you enough disposable income where you can put some money away and be able to save it basically. So the next thing I would say is 100% have a goal on what you're saving for. Choose something and save for it and give yourself a realistic time scale, give yourself a realistic budget and make sure that you are putting money away monthly. So for me, I wanted to go to the Philippines, so I knew I, I, I bought the flights, I put a deposit down and I knew I had to pay them and I literally saved my ass off. I was at college, I had two, three jobs at one time and I just saved, I didn't go out, I sacrificed a lot of things just to make sure I went on this trip. Which leads me on to my next point. Sacrifice something. One thing, it could be anything. Maybe it's a gym membership, maybe it's a Spotify account, Amazon account, something like that. Maybe it's a subscription that you don't necessarily use much or you don't necessarily need. What I would do is I'd cancel that subscription, sub subscription and make sure to subscribe to Billy Fox. I'm just joking, make sure you cancel that subscription and you use that money to save. You put the money that it would have cost to save. You've never seen that money before, so you may as well save it. The next thing to do is if you get paid by card, then open a savings account. And in that savings account, once you have budgeted how much you want to save a month, put the money into the savings account and watch it grow. And honestly, you might even put 20 quid a month into the saving account, but you will watch that grow and you will just put more in because you want to see that number get bigger. Like it is an awesome way to save. So make sure you open a savings account. If you get paid by cash, literally put cash I am balancing my camera on my cash because <laughs> I'm rich, bitch. I'm joking, I'm not rich, definitely not rich. But I've saved, I've put my money into my piggy bank, which is says adventure fund. So it reminds me exactly why I'm saving as well. So something really cool, like a little note or like something that resembles what you are saving for is a really big help too. And the nut, this one I absolutely love. Okay, I've only done this for the last two months and it has, I was blown away at how much I saved just from doing this. So I have two jobs, I get paid by card by one, get paid by cash on the other. So I'm spending money on my card and spending money on my I mean cash. Regardless of the two, both of this will work. If you spend £4.50 in a shop and you give £5, Put the 50p change into your savings or into your piggy bank. Uh, if you get paid in cash, I would, all the change that is in the, the pocket at the end of your night, no, I've got no cash, damn it. All the change, put it into the piggy bank because it doesn't even seem like you're spending a lot. It seems like you're spending like, it doesn't even feel like you're saving at all. Like, end of the month, count it. See how much you're saving. Without even realizing, you have saved more than you have, would have thought you'd save in a lifetime. I counted last month how much I saved by doing this, and I saved 54 pounds. That doesn't sound like a lot, but 54 pounds is a lot more when I thought I'd saved zero. The next thing to do to save money, and I always tell people this, but they never ever do it, and I just get so frustrated because this is how I save my money. Even if I get paid by card, I withdraw my play money. Play money is your disposable income. Withdraw the play money. So keep all your bill money in your account and withdraw everything that you can spend on yourself and just yourself. Take it out in cash, because then it's physically there. You can physically see your money and take a 20 pound out of that and put it into savings. And literally, the rest is yours. You can see that you're going down. And then you've got cash, which means you can have change. Then you can put the change into your money box. 
Yes, yeah, sister. See, my points are relevant. Hell yeah. To conclude, you need to make sure you want to save. If you don't want to save, you won't. And as soon as you want to, you will see the money is piling up. And take it from me, I was reckless, absolutely reckless of money. I used to spend my money on absolutely anything and everything. I bought things that I didn't even know how to use. Now, I'm still stupid with money, but I do have savings. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. That is all I've got for you on how to save money. I think it is very simple when it comes to just wanting to do it, you shall just do it. I think you need a little bit of a push and I hope I've given that to you today. But if you did like this video, give me a massive thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for me and I will see you in the next one.